In this video, I'm going to tell you about the books that I'm planning to read for 2021. In a recent video, I went through the books that I read last year related to chiropractic, and I thought I would share the books that I've got on my reading list that I plan to read in the upcoming year. Most of them are specifically related to chiropractic, whether written by or about chiropractors, but a few are just related to uh, other interests that apply to chiropractic. Well, the first book that I plan to read and I'm already reading is Chiropractic Odyssey by Leonard Fay. So Dr. Leonard Fay brought motion palpation to the forefront based on his experience with Henry Gillet, who you may know from the Gillet's test, and other people that he spent time with in Europe and around the world. I'm learning a lot of things that I didn't realize that he actually came up with the term vertebral subluxation complex, which I've seen used by others in which he says that he regrets now because that term is quite controversial. Dr. Fay was banned from teaching at a lot of the vitalistic chiropractic schools later on, including Palmer. I'm enjoying this book. I'm more than halfway through it now. He shares some interesting stories about launching into practice. He talks about how much he charged per visit. And I find it really interesting to hear the perspective of somebody who's just starting in the profession decades ago, who was at the time a very progressive and forward-thinking chiropractor. Number two is the biography of Joseph Jancy, the Apostle of Chiropractic Education by Dr. Reed Phillips. Now, I mentioned that last year I read the biography of Terry Yoakum, the well-known radiologist, and in that book he mentions Joseph Jancy as being such an influence on him. So I ordered this biography and it's by Reed Phillips. Now Reed Phillips also has written another biography which I love. And that is the biography of Dr. Scott Haldeman. And I found this story of Scott's to be so intriguing and so compelling. And I think Reed Phillips does a great job of writing biographies. And so I'm hoping that the story of Joseph Jancy will be just as compelling. Now, I don't know much about him. I know that he came from, I believe it was Sweden. Um, he happens to be Mormon, uh, a religion that I spent many years of my life in. Turns out he was very influential uh, in the profession of chiropractic, especially being the president of National College for many years. And the foreword is written by Terry Oakham, and so that tells you the impact that he had on so many of these giants in our profession. So I'm looking forward to reading more about that, what made him tick, uh, what gave him the philosophy and opinions that he has about chiropractic. And number three is Overcoming the Odds, another biography, but this time by Antonio Webb, MD. Antonio Webb, you may know as a orthopedic surgeon who has a huge YouTube channel. He is a black American, grew up in Louisiana, and he made it through uh, medical school and then through residency and then did orthopedic surgery. So he is a spine surgeon. His videos have been entertaining to watch. Uh, he has talked about chiropractic a couple of times. And so I'm just interested in hearing more of his story of how he grew up, the challenges that he faced getting through medical school when he came from very little and uh, also his you know experience in the military and then becoming a spine surgeon which I think even though chiropractors talk about preventing people from going to the surgeon uh, they still are our colleagues in my opinion. And number four is The End of Physiotherapy by David Nichols. Uh, now, I know a fair amount about the history of chiropractic and all of the controversy and all of the mess that we've gotten ourselves into over the years. But it turns out physio physical therapy or physiotherapy has just as much history behind it. And so this book goes through the history of the profession up until uh, modern times, talking about the challenges that they've gone through and the thought or the opinion that they might be in danger. And this author talks about a way out of that. And I find that so interesting to hear more 
about the history of these professions who we you know oftentimes look to and think oh physical therapy maybe did it right right they've gotten buy-in from the medical community but it wasn't always that way so i'm really looking forward to reading the end of physiotherapy and speaking of controversy, number five is carotid and vertebral artery dissection. And this is a book by Jody Dodds, MD, and Amanda Anderson, who has had a stroke, is a patient who experienced a stroke, and they came together to uh, tell the patient side of the story. It's full of uh, medical knowledge. It's written in a Q&A format. Uh, and it's meant for patients and family members of patients who have experienced a stroke. Now, there's huge controversy about chiropractic and stroke, and I am of the opinion that the risk of stroke is very low. I think that we do not know uh, whether there is any cause for causality there. If you care about your patients, if you care about being informed about this potential risk for stroke, then I think learning more about it from the medical perspective is worthwhile. And number six is Bones, Inside and Out by Roy A. Means. And he talks about the content and the structure and the formation of bones. And he basically talks about bones as if they are a historical figure or a character in this book. This story looks very interesting. Um, if you're interested in anatomy, if you're interested in the things that we move, even though we're not actually, we're focused on the joints, then I think this is going to be an entertaining read as well. Briefly, a few others on my list are Women in White Coats, How the First Women Doctors Changed the World of Medicine by Olivia Campbell. Artificial Intelligence in Healthcare by the National Academy of Medicine. The Hand by Frank R. Wilson is a book that he mentions the hand because he's talking about the neurology of the hand, how the brain controls the hand, how the hand actually is deeply rooted to our ability to communicate and even to think. So there you have it, that is my list of books that I plan to read in the upcoming months and year. Leave a comment down below and let me know what is on your reading list related to chiropractic or otherwise. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button to get notified of any upcoming videos that I'll be making in the coming weeks. You can follow me at Exploring Chiropractic on social media and follow my podcasts including This Week in Chiropractic, where I talk about current news and events within the chiropractic profession. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again in the next one.